This is Meadow Gold merchandising in action. The scenes that follow are live, real, unrehearsed. No professional actors were hired for the occasion. No stage sets were created. When you see a store manager of a supermarket standing alongside the dairy case, believe us, that is his job in real life. And the dairy case is our job. At least we hope to prove so as this film rolls along. When you see a Meadow Gold demonstrator sampling ice cream or cottage cheese to a shopper, you can be sure that she is a full-time employee of ours engaged in various of our merchandising activities. And the customers you'll see are real customers. We made no attempt to produce a film extravaganza. These people are just going about their business and they were gracious enough to let us catch them in action. Between the processing and sale of Meadow Gold products, there is a series of important events that includes advertising of products, displaying them in the case or carrier, and motivating the consumer to buy them. Now that the big self-service supermarket is here, the problem of merchandising is vital. Today, we've got to pull every merchandising trick out of our bag if we expect to get the business and keep it. Now, let's open that merchandising bag. Our plant sales manager here is working with an employee who also does in-store demonstrating and sampling for us. We found that it is far better to use our own people as demonstrators than to hire an outsider on an occasional or temporary basis. Sales managers and supervisors should be ready to pitch in on a demonstration or promotion too. No matter who is to do the demonstrating, we still must do a good job of briefing the demonstrator. First thing is to become thoroughly acquainted with our product. Have you ever talked to a salesman who hemmed and hawed and fumbled the ball when you asked him some specific question about his product? You probably ended the interview in a hurry. Every minute spent in arming our demonstrator with all the facts is well spent. No telling what she'll be asked on the scene of the demonstration, and any hesitating on her part may mean the loss of the sale. Here our man is giving a detailed explanation of the particular product we're promoting. A very helpful tool for our sales manager, and later for store management, is the demonstrator's report form. It gives us a record of the sales and the success of the promotion, and it makes excellent evidence to produce at the proper time to the store manager. We can learn a lot of things from the demonstrator's report form. It will give us the chance to review customer reaction as observed by the demonstrator. And we'll probably get many ideas for improving the next in-store promotion. Two heads are better than one, particularly when one of the heads is head man. Never overlook the fact that we're in a store only because store management has approved of us and our product. To put on any kind of promotion or special product push, we must work hand in glove with the store manager, just as our Meadow Gold man is doing here. When you are going to talk to store management, there's nothing that will sell him more surely than a few facts and figures about your products and their sales from his shelves. Our sales manager here, and a good many in our other plants too, sees to it that daily, weekly, and monthly records are kept on supermarket sales of Meadow Gold products. The comparatively few weekly hours it takes you to compute the sales of an individual supermarket are well paid back in the effectiveness of the selling tool a record book represents. This particular book records a five-year history of sales month by month for this supermarket. Seasonal trends can be pictured at a glance. And don't think the store manager won't eat up the facts. There's something solid and satisfying about neat, accurate figures in a book, particularly when they apply to your operation. Supermarket managers are eager to know what's going on, and we should want to know, too. Our sales manager gets a ready ear to his story from this store manager. We've really won him to Meadow Gold, and we're keeping him sold. There are many ways to sample mm, mighty good Meadow Gold ice cream. But one of the best and most effective is with the spoon. Here, our demonstrator is all set for young America and her mama with half-gallon carton in hand and spoon poised and ready for the dip in, it's just a matter of seconds before mother and child will be treated to the ice cream. Spoon sampling is economical and speedy. A disposal can nearby keeps things clean and tidy. Back now for a free moment to arranging the cartons in the case. It's all part of the demonstrator's daily dozen. Each carton must be facing right, ship shape in tidy order. Neatness and tidiness, particularly in the handling of food, in or out of the container, are very, very important. 
Now our demonstrator lady samples with an ice cream cone. The customer, of course, gets more for free, but it is still a very effective way of selling our ice cream. As with the spoon sampling, the demonstrator samples out of the half gallon she is promoting. One big advantage of the cone sample is that no disposal problem is involved. Assuming, of course, that our lady shopper eats down to the very bottom of the cone, and from here it looks like she will. Note that the well-trained demonstrator talks as she samples. Every word counts, and they will all ordinarily add up to a sale. Be very courteous, and handle that spoon or cone neatly and slowly as you pass it to the shopper. Always a highly successful promotion, the combination metal gold half gallon ice cream and pint of sherbet are a perfect pair for pushing a sale. A combination deal like this permits you to set a special price, which adds to its effectiveness. Making the combination package attractive as a combination is all part of the deal. Here we've used red scotch tape as a wraparound. Identification of the two products is still easy, and the color of the scotch tape alone attracts immediate attention to the double wrap. There she blows. Of course, we mean the balloon. In case you didn't know it, the balloon promotion is always a good one. It is inexpensive and comparatively easy to set up. Most important of all, it wins over the children, stops Mama practically in her tracks, and forces her into an immediate sale of a meadow gold product. As in all properly conducted promotions, our man must be on the scene to service the promotion. One of the most basic techniques of merchandising is the mass display, such as this one. Even an unattended mass display, with a good hard-selling point-of-sale piece showing price clearly, usually pays off well. Remember that in setting up a mass display, we can and should take advantage of various locations. An island display or end-of-counter display like this one is very effective. Get as near the dairy case as you can, either ahead of it or across from it. Here, for instance, we use the mass display as the backdrop for a demonstration sampling promotion. The display caught the attention of the passerby. Our demonstrator courteously offered a sample drink out of the small cup. And notice, the demonstrator samples from the type of carton offered in the sale. And after the sale is made, comes the equally important task of keeping the display clean and neat, well arranged. The self-service case, or shelf, is in itself an important display medium. The more rows we can get, the more products we can display. The better sales we'll automatically show. Study the flow of traffic and test for the best spot in the case. The store manager will go along with you if you can show him results. And testing for location, even in the case itself, can come up with some surprisingly good sales ammunition for you. Maybe we'll get to add only one or two rows at first. Notice, incidentally, how carefully our man here handles the product. He sets the rows in the case neatly, and he watches for leakers. This fellow has been around. He knows how important it is to take his time, handle with care. Now, a close study and comparison of sales figures with a similar period before we added the new rows will tell the story. Now, let's take the case of the case itself, with relation to traffic flow and the strategic placement of our products in the case. Does the middle section get the heaviest play? Then we'd be smart to plan our product display accordingly to gain the biggest advantage of the way the traffic moves. Maybe instead, it's the left side of the case that proves to be the heaviest sales area. Then again, we may find the right side gets the most play. First, we've got to make sure just what does happen at the case, and this requires a little surveying. Do shoppers move from right to left of the dairy case, or do they travel from left to right? Much depends on the physical layout of the store. Where is the dairy case in relation to the produce section, the meat department, the main aisle? These are all important factors to be considered. There's no simple formula you can apply. The best way to determine traffic flow is the hard way. Go into the supermarket yourself on a busy day and study the flow of traffic, just as our man is doing here. Watch every move of the shoppers. 
Notice where they look, where they pause. That's what counts. By carefully observing and noting these habits of shoppers as they pass the dairy case, we can learn a great deal. We can determine whether there are any blind spots in the case, areas that are completely overlooked. Incidentally, point of sale material set up at these spots should increase sales. And the study will show us whether butter, for instance, should be to the left or the right of milk, where the cottage cheese should go. We can learn much. And what we learn can be translated into increased volume, which is always good news for the store and for us. One thing is certain. A study like this can bring only good results. Whatever we learn will be our gain, and it's worth every bit of our time and effort. Here's an island tub display featuring our cottage cheese. Now, let's take a close-up look at this display. Not particularly elaborate, is it? It would hardly require the services of a display studio, yet tub displays like this are consistent sales producers a fact proved by dozens of our plants weekend after weekend. Now let's turn the time machine back and see how this display is put together. First, our men build the base. Nearby wire baskets or wood crates will do. Now comes the tub itself. Notice that a drain plug has been provided to release the melted ice. A pail, of course, beneath the tub catches the drain off. With the tub in position, the crushed ice now goes in. This will make a cool, fresh bed for our product. Note the care our fellows take. Let's always avoid mess. Two bags of ice will more than do the trick. One man empties the bag, the other smooths over the ice bed and brings it up to the proper level, two inches or so below the rim of the tub. Now comes wrapping paper as a skirt or apron that masks out the base and forms a neutral background for the point of sale material that will soon go around the tub. Two men are better than one at this job. We're ready now for the point of sale pieces which we scotch tape at the rim of the tub and on the skirt. Next comes the job of placing our product on the ice bed. We want to make sure this is a neat product display, which means we stack the cottage cheese carefully on the bed. No building blocks, boys. We want a display that won't fall down and go boom. We're almost in business now. And here's the final touch. This almost eye-level sign stops the shopper in her tracks and impels her to reach for a carton. Unattended tub displays like this will produce from four to even ten times the normal sales volume. And don't think this doesn't please store managers. Better make plans right now for a tub display and watch those sales climb. A sure fire promotion can be built around related items. Here we get the advantage of a combination price where we can split the price cut between two items and come out far better than out and out price cutting on a single item. Cottage cheese represents a particularly fine product for combinations. It is doubly appetizing when offered with a colorful fruit, as in this case, cling peaches. Our demonstrator friend is still on duty. She arrests the shopper's attention by holding up the two items, a two-pound carton of meadow gold cottage cheese and a standard size of peaches. She talks her story, and Mr. Shopper takes on the deal. He's been sold. An unattended display and good point of sale make a powerful pair in any promotion. And bear in mind that it takes just one man to service three or four stores with unattended displays. Your advertising and sales departments have available for your use a wealth of point-of-sale posters, such as the one pictured here. In the very design of the Meadow Gold Cottage Cheese Carton and all of our other cartons, we've carefully developed a package that will arrest the eye. 
If you ever saw merchandising in action, this is it. As you see, the two young ladies here, both of them regular employees of our Meadow Gold plant, are putting on a live promotion of our cottage cheese in the two-pound carton. One of the girls is packing the cartons on the scene. She's scooping it out of a stainless steel tank decorated with point-of-sale posters. Without a single lost motion, she packs, then weighs the carton and hands it to the other demonstrator who is doing the active selling job. There's a lot of enthusiasm behind this demonstration. And did it pay off? Well, in the two-day weekend promotion, this very demonstration produced sales of 2,000 pounds of cottage cheese, a full ton. Let's face it, a mass display that turns into a M-E-S-S -S display from failure on our parts to service it right and keep it neat and clean can do a whale of a lot of damage to our relationship with a super manager. Part of the job of our sales managers or supervisors is to make sure that the display is kept trim and tidy. It is important that our supervisor or sales manager appear on the scene personally. The personal touch helps keep management sold on us. Also remember that this display was placed in this particular spot in the first place because our man had previously worked it out with the store manager. They had carefully studied flow of traffic, relation of location to the display, and many other factors. It was smart team play that put over this promotion. There are times, of course, when it is to our advantage to participate actively in a store opening like this one. Though the cost is often high, both in actual dollars and in the time and effort we put into such events, we do get a full line into the store, and we cement a long-term account. This kind of merchandising on a grand scale calls for careful attention to every detail, from the stringing of pennants over the parking area to festooning the store throughout. On this particular store opening, we went all out, because it was a major super in a very advantageous location. Our meadow gold car piped out music through these loudspeakers all over the area, and then it was parked here at the store for the opening week. Inside, we did a terrific job. Our advertising department worked closely with our local plant to provide all the in-store posters, balloons, banners, and whatnot that were required to dress up the opening. The animated clown and Ferris wheel were sure fire attention getters. And do you notice that we have rows upon rows of shelf display, as well as a fine sherbet glass premium? At night, the carnival atmosphere really caught on. Just look at that setting. There's all kinds of color and movement here, isn't there? And we helped the carnival promotion along with rented searchlights. They are a surefire promotional gimmick. Here was metal gold merchandising at its most glamorous and festive. You can bet your boots we'll hold this account. If you'll permit us to divert your attention for one moment from Louis the Scoop and the three young ladies seated at this counter, we'll tell you something interesting about this particular fountain. Actually, it is operated in a supermarket. The idea of a fountain stop in a big super is beginning to catch on, and it's a trend we should watch closely it may prove plus business for us in many places. Did you notice that our friend Louie has a winning personality? Not only that, but he's neat and tidy, wears a very warm smile, takes a real interest in his patrons. The well-trained soda fountain clerk can do a lot for the business, and we can often be helpful in training him. Notice all of the advantage we are taking of display above this case. We have excellent point of sale. We identify for the shopper the complete line of meadow gold ice cream, sherbet, ice cream pies, cake rolls. Every single item in the case has been clearly pointed out. And the pricing which is provided in this type of advertising is utterly clear to the shopper. K advertising like this, which completely covers the items in our line, is very desirable both to the store manager and to us. We want to encourage you to go after this kind of complete point of sale presentation wherever you can. It's one of the best ways for us to put over Meadow Gold products. Remember, ice cream in the supermarket is an impulse item. The shopper is attracted to it when she sees it. That's why the more display space we can give the complete line of ice cream, the more opportunity we have to sell more ice cream and ice cream products.
let's not overlook institutional business. Restaurant stops like this one can be very productive for us, particularly when properly trained waitresses and good point of sale on the wall help us sell more product. This young lady suggests ice cream with the pie, directs the patron's attention to the point of sale piece. No question about it being meadow gold, is there? The two meadow gold shields on either side of the wall point of sale are excellent brand name identification. As we have said so many times at our meetings, the meadow gold name has tremendous popular acceptance as a quality food line. A restaurant can help a great deal in reminding patrons of our name. Again, here, as in the fountain stop, product and price are clearly indicated on the wall menu. Restaurant management should be encouraged to use back bar type of material like this. Never forget that butter patties in the restaurant stop are also excellent product identification. And of course, the restaurant likes them because they spell out not only meadow gold butter, but all the quality value behind the name. Our cottage cheese makes an excellent restaurant item too. For one thing, it gives management portion control. Then too, when served with peaches, pears, or other fruit, and with rye crisp, Ritz crackers, and other combinations, it can be made very colorful and appetizing. It is a very versatile food. Cottage cheese salads are quickly and easily prepared. Another plus point. We should have little difficulty selling this product to restaurants. In case you don't recognize the little lady on the stage, it's our own Beatrice Cook who does a tremendous job of goodwill building for Meadow Gold products. This cooking demonstration she puts on represents still another type of promotion that is available to practically all of our plants. Beatrice Cook, who in real life is Pauline Pearson, puts on these hour to hour and a half cooking shows all over the country. And maybe you don't think the ladies go for them. She brings practically all the major props she needs along with her when she goes on the road. This table and audience view mirror is a most important part of her equipment. The ladies can see exactly how the recipe is prepared, and they don't miss a twist of Pauline's wrist. The cooking school is so popular wherever it is put on that we often get repeat requests for it six months or a year later. At Gold's department store in Lincoln, Nebraska, the show will be held this spring for the fourth consecutive year, and it will probably draw a crowd of up to 500 homemakers on the two days it is given. In Pittsburgh, as a major feature of a citywide food show, it was the chief point of interest. And it was the same at Topeka, Kansas, Muncie, Indiana, and Durham, North Carolina, where incidentally the demonstration was put on in a large moving picture theater with a crowd that packed the place. At each cooking school, Pauline passes out recipe cards featuring the meals or dishes prepared during the demonstration. These recipes do a big job of selling Meadow Gold products. Keep your eyes open for the possibilities of a cooking school in your area. Let's go places, shouts the cover design of this campaign kit. And going places we are, according to reports we're still compiling on the big company-wide cottage cheese push during February and March of this year. That 10-day all-expense-paid vacation in Mexico makes your mouths water, doesn't it, fellas? And that's part of the formula that has helped these company promotional drives of ours hit the heights in unit sales. Thumbing through this kit with our sales manager friend, we're sure you'll agree that this is a complete promotional package. All the material you could possibly need to build sales effort in your plant to an all-time high and to get the boys out there pitching for prizes and other incentives. The package always contains a number of result-producing bottle hangers for the retail men and store posters for you wholesale men. We offer flashy premiums that will attract Mrs. Homemaker and Mrs. Shopper, and we give you a colorful route man sales contest idea that is easy to put on and doesn't cost too much either. From cover to cover, we try to pack these kits with all the tested and proved merchandising and incentive building help we can put into them. Are these company-wide campaigns going over? A glance at our national sales figures makes us come up every time with a rousing yes. They give you a goal to shoot for and all the incentive you could want. As a certain popular comedian would put it these days, and there you are, and here I am. All we can add is this.
Meadow Gold merchandising in action means Meadow Gold products moving off the shelves, out of the case, and out of our home delivery carriers too. As long as we keep them moving, we'll hold our present accounts and we'll land the new ones. But if we ever relax on merchandising, we'll be asking for competition to take over. Now it's up to you men. You've seen actual Meadow Gold merchandising as it is successfully carried on today. Future action depends on you. How about a little postscript? Then let's give credit fellows where credit is due. Hats off to the director, producer, photographer, film editor who made this production possible. It's Barney Wanagas. <laughs>